But with this, it's definitely more on the sim side, bro. It definitely feels closer to the WDT cars, if I'm being honest. Which I do like a lot. But damn, bro, it's one hell of a mod. Yo, what is going on YouTube? My name is Jaden and welcome back guys to a brand new video on channel for today ladies and gentlemen no, We are taking a look at this absolutely uh, beautiful Mercedes-Benz 190E On this beast though, we are rocking a 562 brake horsepower, 640 Nm of torque And we only weigh in at 1224 kgs this thing is built out to be an absolute drift machine, I think it looks absolutely epic. The physics, tires, drivetrain and sound of the actual vehicle is done by the dudes at Gravy Garage. So I'm assuming it's gonna handle pretty good man, if you guys haven't checked out that pack, it's pretty damn awesome. But with all that being said guys, if you haven't yet, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're about their life, and let's hop into this one I need. I can knock it over with this thing sounds. Little 190. And those BBS rooms look so freaking rad on it. I'm a big fan, man. We also do have our red LEDs up front, which it's interesting. I do like it. Put more on the aggressive side, but I don't mind man. Off the bat, this thing handles so freaking well. Damn, dude. The Gravy Garage Car Pack so might not be the most simulation, but they definitely are some fun freaking cars to rip in, man. If you guys haven't checked out the actual car pack, it's good fun, bro. And it also has some of the best sounding cars I've heard in the set of. Bro, it's so good. Old school Mercedes. We never, never thought to actually drift one of these, but I'm glad I found this mod. Link is in the description box if you guys do want to find it, along with a good couple of other mods that are gonna be showcased throughout this week. But damn, bro, this thing absolutely rips. We don't really need our headlights on during the day, but. For some reason they are stuck on, so it's pretty damn interesting. Jeez, dude. I'm a big fan of the way this thing handles as well too. I mean I know I said it before, but the Gravy Garage car pack, it almost feels too assisted, and that's kinda what makes it fun, is like you don't really need a lot of skill to actually slide and make those vehicles look good. But with this, it's definitely more on the sim side, bro. It definitely feels closer to the WDT cars, if I'm being honest. Which I do like a lot. But damn, bro, it's one hell of a mod. As far as detail goes, I mean, you guys can already see pretty well detailed. I guess my only gripe with it is really the interior noises. I'm not a big fan of hearing. The actual transmission wind, kind of like a supercharger, but I mean that's subjective, bro. I, that's my personal take on it. You guys might actually enjoy it, and I do believe there is a way to lower transmission noise in the game, so that could be that. But damn, bro, all in all, this thing actually—it's pretty good. Just the hell out there, man. It's a pretty good damn car, and it's definitely worth checking out because I mean at the end of the day it's free bro it's a free damn mod so damn she actually holds a lot more angle than I thought she would dude and I love it when you don't really have to apologize about ramping it on the car cause when it sounds this good I'll just keep my foot to the freaking floor and she will just keep on chugging Oh hell yeah man. 
did not think a 190 here would be this much fun to slide around in. But I mean, clearly I got proven wrong, bro. If you guys do have more mods like this that you might know of, you should let me know in the comment section down below, bro. I would love to check out a lot more of these mods. Things that are different, not your typical drifters. Or even if they are typical, something with like cool bugs on it. I mean, it's a mod at the end of the day. You can do whatever the hell you want to then. Ooh, this is dragging it out. We're gonna cut this a bit short. I might have found one of my favorite drift cars in this game. I know I said the same thing about it after the 3 we done not too long ago, but I've just been finding some really sick mods lately. And uh, I've been enjoying the hell out of them. God damn. You're really banging the shit out of their third gear. Oh, let's see what F6 moves we have. Oh, yep, yeah, that. I'll be honest, that's what I was looking for, man. The freaking roof view. Uh, this is gonna be good. Love the Mercedes emblem just peeking out the front. Are uh, we gonna have to cut this short as well? Yeah, a little bit. Okay! Bit too wide on that. Bit too wide. So <laughs> oh, dude. This thing is so freaking bad. I mean, it's crazy because when you think of like a boxy kind of roof ball that's German, you probably go straight to the BMW E30, but. I mean, I think I just found a rival for that that not a lot of people do know of when it comes to drifting. And it's just one I need. Oh dude, it is so freaking rad. Definitely getting more confident with it. Because I feel like I can throw this thing in with such high speed. Knowing that I'm going to be coming out the other side of the corner absolutely fine. Wow, bro, this thing is epic, dude. Like I said, if you guys do want the mod to this Mercedes, it should be linked in the description box down below. And, uh... Okay. We're just gonna send that back, man. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed the video, you should drop a like, subscribe if you're about the life. Damn, dude, this 190 is a freaking absolute beast. Like I said, definitely worth checking out. And uh, with all of that being said, I will see you guys back here on Wednesday with a brand new video channel. I'm out. Peace.